six years had left me. Grown tired of my alcoholism and losing jobs. So uh, in the midst of searching for jobs and trying to drink myself to death, I came to live in my car behind this church and, uh, and it led to me changing my life and uh, I grew. He was living in his car right outside the church, which wasn't always comfortable for everybody here, but it's a place that was willing to take some risks also. And Pastor Cole's daughter, Emily, who worked for Housing First, managed to get me in a, an apartment. And uh, the rest is history. Achieving the outcomes. In this case, it is taking chronically homeless individuals and getting them housing. And not just getting them housing, but putting together a structure and support system to enable them to remain in housing. Fortunately, they were able to set something up and Christian got his first apartment, which was, I think, the beginning of his getting his life together in some ways. Uh, it was that that really kind of gave him a safe place to operate out of. So we were grateful for that. Riverwood's Housing First program really was um, a primary and key component to Christian's recovery. Gave him a place to play his guitar, perfect his craft, and begin to work out, strengthen his body, meditate and pray, strengthen his spirit. And he took a holistic approach to his recovery that um, would have been impossible to facilitate without the housing. You take an approach that looks at the whole person and not just their behavioral health issues, look at their medical issues, their social issues, their spiritual needs and incorporate that all into one service package. Yeah, he is one yeah. who is now able to start a new path of life and has some sense of his life is his, not just something that belongs to the bottle or anything else. So I'm proud of the guy. There is no doubt that Riverwood Housing First Rhode Island is the positive force behind the change in C.J. Hutchings' life. Since they gave him a place to set up shop and really call his own, he's been able to use so much of his creativity and time and positive energy to support the homeless recovery and social awareness behind uh, the problems that homeless people face on a daily basis. And he does that through his art, through music, and he has over 300 original songs to do with that with. And you can definitely see his confidence had built up. He was really feeling the vibe, like, because people were finally seeing him who he really was and appreciating his art. And because people appreciated his art, that just made him shine even more. Yeah. Riverwood gave me the ability to not have to look at my disability. I believe it's our ability to engage individuals, and we do so in a hopeful, empathic way that results in the highest quality of services. Everyone deserves a home.